I go here with a new series. It's going to be a 10 HP Iron Man that's going to be used for eventually rushing, but I'm going to take you guys along my uh, journey and uh, see how it goes. So basically, I got a few plans to start off as fast as possible, but you'll see as I go through this video, and I'll leave some uh, stuff in the description so you guys can follow along more easy. So shortly after I created this account, I, my first goal was to get 5 thieving just to get it out of the way, just so when I got to Artie I was able to uh, steal the cake, so that's what I did. So in this clip I decided to complete Cook's Assistant just so I could get that free cooking XP, and since I was already in Lumbridge, and then I decided to also do some other quests that were in Lumbridge, which you can see in this next clip. So in this next clip you can see that I just finished uh, Russell's Ghost, I managed to miss it. Uh, but it gives you a free nine prayer levels, and I highly suggest doing it right away. So here you can see I'm just finishing Rune Mysteries, and it was just a little running around in Lumbridge, going back to Varrock, then going back to the Wizard Tower. So it's a very short quest, and it's a good thing to get it out of the way now, so I don't have to worry about it later. So after this, I decided that I wanted to get my fishing level up a bit, just uh, just so I'd have that first level food, so I'd be able to get around. So something I forgot to mention is I started off as a hardcore. But as you can see, it did not go too well. Uh, be, so I decided um, after the fishing that I was going to go to mining, and I got the fifth, level 15 mining just so I was going to be able to do uh, Doric's quest, so just so I could get that free... Um, pretty sure it's uh, a couple levels in mining. I'm not for sure about how many exactly, but I bet I'll have it coming up in the next video. But after I went straight to Artie to get my... Um, 10 agility just for so I can start training up my agility because running everywhere is an Iron Man if you guys know if you don't know this already kind of sucks but um, didn't take too long probably took around 10 to 15 minutes uh, at the gnome stronghold so right after I got 10 agility I decided to go to RD to uh, steal uh, cakes all the way until 20 thieving I did this so I can so just so I would have uh, the beginning level food um, because you know I sh fished a little for shrimp, but it really wasn't worth it. And then also, once I got level 20, I stole just one inventory of silk just really quickly before I decided to go do Monk's Friend, which gives you 2k woodcutting XP, and which you can see in this video right here, also gives you 8 law runes and 1 quest point. So I decided to do this just to get that, uh, just to get the early levels of woodcutting out of the way. And I'm really glad I did because it only took me about like, I don't know, 6 or 7 minutes to complete. So, uh, also, I forgot to mention, uh, I died and lost my hard hardcore Iron Man status when I was trying to go get uh, steel bodies from the wilderness uh, with uh, only uh, like seven shrimp. So it wasn't a good idea, but I'm glad I got out of the way now so it wouldn't have to be a stress later because uh, this is just going to be hard enough just being level 10. I mean, ha having 10 HP. So in this next video, you can see I'm getting, uh, I think that's 15 fire making so I can start making, uh, I mean, lighting uh, oak logs. And then shortly after, I just kept going while cutting oak logs, and I eventually got the 30 fire making. The reason I got 30 fire making, which you can see in this next video, is for uh, so I could do sea slug. So sea slug for anyone starting off, I really recommend doing this before you do any beginning level fishing because sea slug is such a short quest and it gets you I believe to 23 fishing if I'm not mistaken which is pretty good for how short it takes and you can see me completing it right here and I highly recommend anyone to just get that 30 fire making out of the way because you're going to need it for winter tide later if you guys want to follow the method I'm doing. After Monk's Friend I decided to complete Sheep, her sheep Herder just for because um, it's four quest points it's a really short quest and I was already an arty so uh, why not so, and it also gave me, uh, I believe it gave me 1k, but I don't have that in my inventory because I already banked it. And then after I decided to go to the Draenor Village to start uh, training my agility, so I took uh, 10 to 20 uh, agility in Draenor Village. Uh, and you can see me getting that 20 agility right here. So after 20 agility, I went straight to the Alcarid uh, rooftop agility course. And there I went from... Uh, 20 to 30 because um, obviously 
Uh, this is the best place to do it if you look up any guide. But, I mean, it's really easy. Uh, I'm making sure that I'm picking up all the marks of grace because I'm trying to get graceful as fast as possible so I can basically start doing quests a lot more efficiently without having to wait for my uh, run energy to recharge. You can see right there, I just got my 30 agility. So, right here, I'm starting off with the uh, Varrock rooftop course at level 30, and I'm going to take this all the way to level 40 which you can see in the next video, um, me hitting level 40 agility, which uh, only took about two hours to complete. So it wasn't that bad, but uh, you can see right here, got the 40 agility. All right, I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching. Uh, I know it's uh, kind of boring content at the beginning, but I promise I'll be putting out a lot more content in episode two soon. Uh, if you guys could uh, drop a like or a dislike, and if you guys do drop a dislike, just let me know why, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.